What's going on, everybody? The original Mako back with a brand new game to showcase. Uh, it's not out yet. I can't even play it yet, but it looked incredible, and I had to just show it to you guys so you guys could get uh, ahead of the ahead of the curve in terms of seeing this game. And I, I'm super excited. But regardless of that, before we get into it, be sure you check the links down below as always. If you want to see me play a bunch of really cool games, you can check out the Twitch channel down below. I might be live right now as you're watching this, so come check it out. I'd really appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the amazing content that we have on news on this game or a bunch of other games in the future that we're going to be playing and having a lot of fun with. So I'd really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button and check out the second channel where there's a playthrough going on over there as well. So that being said, let's go ahead and start talking about Crowsworn. Um, how can you go wrong with a game that's inspired by Hollow Knight and Bloodborne? The simple uh, answer is you can't. So what we're going to do is watch one of these trailers and then go back and talk about it after. So we'll watch it all the way through and then once it's over I'll come back and kind of talk about some of the, the points in the trailer. So Let's watch. Good lord, isn't that just glorious? So let's go back to the beginning where it all begins and talk about this first little animated cutscene here. So why is this animated cutscene important? Well, uh, I'll show you guys this page in a second, but I was reading through some stuff, and I guess they ran a Kickstarter about a year ago, and it reached one of the stretch goals of $1 million, which meant that every single cutscene in the game is going to be fully animated uh, in... in I mean, I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if the same studio that's doing the animations for the game did this animation. But this animation is so clean. And if every cutscene is animated like this, then I'm going to be a happy, happy customer. Um, it looks fantastic. And if you... If you're telling me that that right there, that little scene... My man jumps up into the air, spreads out his fucking raven wings, and he's got his scythe hanging down. If that's not one of just the most badass, like, entrances, or I guess he kind of, he was exiting a coffin. So, badass exits into a scene, I mean, it's just, it's glorious. Um, you love to see it. But anyway, we'll get to the actual gameplay here in a second. And I want to say just first of all, the, the world in and of itself looks looks amazing. It, it's it's beautiful. The art style is fantastic. Uh, if you know me, then side-scrollers, for me, are very hit and miss. They have to be super good, and they have to really, really look good. I, I instantly knew I'm going to be playing this game when it comes out. I mean, it is just beautiful with the art style. Uh, so that's the first thing I noticed. A uh, little character guy here, I'm guessing, to, to get some upgrades going, which is fun to look at. Only seen a few clips so far, but the combat looks super smooth and intriguing, which is always exciting. 
Um, obviously, with a game like this, if it's Hollow Knight esque, you gotta. It's got to be smooth. It's got to be super smooth. So, and it looks it looks really clean so far. And mind you, this game is is still TBD on the release date. So they might even still be polishing this game for another year or so. Like, it, it, there's just a lot, a lot of um, really exciting things for this game's future. A uh, nice little touch. These little hands right here grabbing. I think that's pretty cool. Movement looks fun and uh, uh, also smooth as well. A nice little uh, skill tree type of thing here. It kind of looks like each, yeah, just look like you have, I guess, five different options for different, um, I guess, perks uh, that you could slot in there, which is, it, Great, we love to see that. A little more uh, variability between uh, different people doing different things. Different play styles. More beautiful movement here. Uh, the, the boss fights look, look, I mean, just... That boss design... No, I went, I didn't go far enough back. That boss design looks incredible. The other boss, I think there was a boss or maybe a mini boss before that looked really good. Boss fights are going to be hitting with, with enemies like this. I'm, it just looks amazing. Fucking whirling dervish. Pretty cool. Once again, and then just an, a nice little, um, once again, probably boss fight there. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I was going to show you guys uh, just a quick little synopsis here uh, about the game. So explore a ruined world. A dark curse has befallen the land of Thrandal, a once vibrant kingdom. All but the last re remnants of humanity have seemingly vanished as the world is overrun by sightless creatures of nightmare. Explore a large, interconnected world as you fight against hordes of monsters that roam the Forsaken Lands, uncover secrets, and unlock new abilities that enhance your arsenal of deadly weapons and powers. Venture forth to lift the ancient curse and unravel the mystery behind its origins as you attempt to discover the truth and realize your situation. So I've, I've like I said, I've been trying to read a little bit about it, and it seems like the, the story has been very much thought about and um, well-developed. So it should have a really rich story, I'm guessing. Uh, it features spandex-tight controls, stylish combat with over-the-top combos, which is beautiful, uh, a giant interconnected world with monsters, men, and machines, discover new abilities and upgrades, um, equip and customize rune arrangements with an interconnected system, uh, more than 120 unique enemies, more than 30 unique boss encounters, a deep and compelling story delivered in Souls-like fashion, challenging AI to keep you on your toes, over a dozen unique side quests, hand-drawn 2D high-frame count traditional animation style, and a badass soundtrack. If that doesn't get you excited, if that doesn't get your willy hard, then I don't know what will, because, God, it's just going to be so fantastic. And the other thing I was just going to show you, um, was once again, this was about a year ago. They were running the the um, uh, Kickstarter campaign, and first of all, uh, they reached a, a stretch goal where every single copy of the physical edition of the game is a steel book. Every single physical copy of this game is a steel book copy. I do not buy physical games anymore. I don't. But look at how good this looks. I would be extremely tempted to buy the physical version of this game because of this steelbook. And once again, it's every single copy of the physical game is a steelbook now. Um, you also get, uh, I believe... Oh, no, yeah, these are just some other things you could get. But anyway, the physical game, steelbook. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, but... The 1 million goal that they reached, I have no idea if, if they reached the 1.2 stretch goal, but the 1 million was um, Crow Sworn will d uh, feature fully animated anime style cinematic cutscenes. All of these will be done by Vulturehead Studio and be of exceptional high quality akin to the trailer intro. So now I have reminded, answered my own question. 
very similar to that um, intro that, that we watched, which was gorgeous. So if every single cutscene, well, I'm oh, sorry, it'll feature cutscenes that are just like that. I mean, that is going to that is going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, if we scroll down here, you can see that. Um, uh, which one was it? Was it this one? Oh yeah, um, an ancient structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all physical copies of the game will be upgraded to a steel book. So once again, just look at how good that the steel book looks for this. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Anyways, I it's just it, it, I'm super excited for this game. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, no idea on release date. It's TBD. Nobody knows. But man, I am going to be following this game like a kid in an ice cream truck because uh, I just I'm. Very, very, it's been a while since I've been so excited about how good a game looks. Uh, probably not since Call to the Lamb, honestly, which is coming out pretty soon. But regardless, I just wanted to kind of show this game off and give you guys a little bit of an insight to some of the different things about the game and maybe put it on some of your, your guys' radar. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Once again, be sure to check the links down below, as always. Hopefully, you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces, and I will catch you all in the next video.